Welcome to Signal and System Lecture Series. Here in this session, I'll be going to explain scaling property of Z transform. So let us state first what is this property. Then after I'll be giving one proof of that scaling property. Then we will see one example based on scaling property. So what is scaling property of Z transform? So if we have signal X of n and Z transform of that signal if it is x of z then scaling property of z transform states that a to the power n x of n that has to be having z transform and that has to be x of z divided by a. So this is what scaling property. If you have signal x of n with z transform x of z, then a to the power n x of n having scaling property that is x of z by a. So this is what scaling property of z transform. Now first I will give you proof of this property. Then we will see one example based on it. So see z transform is x of z. So that is what Z transform of X of N. And the basic formula of Z transform is summation N varies from minus infinity to infinity X of N into Z to the power minus N. Then what I will be doing is I will be now calculating Z transform of this signal and that has to be X of Z by A. So Z transform of a to the power n x of n. So that has to be summation n varies from minus infinite to infinite. Now our signal is a to the power n x of n into z to the power minus n. Now let us simplify this formula. So x of n into if I consider a z inverse over here to the power n then I can write this in this way. So here basically if I want this formula in form of z transform equation then here there should be minus n power. So if I do this summation n varies from minus infinite to infinite x of n then you will be finding 1 by a z inverse to the power minus n that is what I can write. So this is summation n varies from minus infinite to infinite x of n and that is a inverse z to the power minus n. So this is what technically this is z transform x of z divided by a. So this is what we are deal with to prove about. Like see instead of z over here it is z a inverse means z divided by a. So scaling property states if you have signal x of z which is z transform of x of n then a to the power n x of n should be z transform x of z by a. So this is what scaling property of Z transform and it is so useful and if you, you can have basic calculation even for a calculation of Z transform but that will take longer time to have a solution of some problems. By using this property one can easily solve examples based on Z transform. So let us have one example quickly so one can understand how to apply this property. So if we have a signal x of n that is equals to a to the power n u of n. Then question is find x of z. Now by using by using <coughs> scaling property we can easily solve this example. Like see we know u of n z transform that is z divided by z minus 1. So 
what will be the z transform of a to the power n u of n so z transform of a to the power n u of n that has to be instead of z we need to replace that by z by a so if we do that z divided by a divided by z divided by a minus 1 then that will be z divided by z minus a and we already know a to the power n u of n that z transform is z divided by z minus a so by using this scaling property we can easily solve problem which we have done it in longer way so we have already solved this example how to calculate z transform of a to the power n u of n but by using this scaling property we can directly have answer in easier way so this is how we can utilize this property i hope that you have understood this in future you will be finding many more problem regarding properties of z transform so it will gives you idea about what is the importance of properties of z transform and how to utilize that basically here i have explained how to use this and what is this property in future you will be finding many more problems thank you so much for watching this video